How's it going guys? My name is Justin. We're at Infocom. This is day two. And today I got the IPCOM POE and we're going to do a quick start tutorial on it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your IPCOM POE. Okay. You're going to notice it has an NPF battery slot or a DC 12 volt. So in order to power this, we're going to be using an NPF battery. Just like that. And then we're going to connect it to a computer. So I'm going to grab my ethernet wire, attach to this dongle, and we're going to power this on. Now we're going to head to the settings of the computer and we're going to make sure that the Ethernet port is set to DHCP. So you go to properties, we're going to go to TCP IPv4, and then we're going to make sure that it's set to obtain an IP address automatically. So if you're all good there, you can go ahead and close that out. And then you're going to open up a web browser and type in the, the IP address of the IPCOM DOE, which is going to be 192.168.1.108. So when you enter this, you're going to meet the home page of it. The login for it is going to be admin. And then the password for it is going to be 111111. So go ahead and click enter. And you're going to notice that it says searching for a wireless signal. So in this time frame, it's going to be looking for your router or anything nearby. So just give it 15 seconds. So as you can see, we're over here at uh, Infocom. There's a lot of signals here. We have three pages total, but we're going to look for ours, which is Ada Booth. So you're going to go ahead and type that in, or select that, I mean. And then you're going to type in your pre shared key, okay? So our pre shared key here is going to be Ada 2018 exclamation mark. So once we're done, we're going to go ahead and uh, wait for this to basically reboot itself. It's going to take about 60 seconds. All right, so once it refreshes, you're going to log back in with your credentials, admin, and 111111, and you're going to be met with the main screen. So connect to a router just basically lets you go. Uh, if you messed up, you can go ahead and click this again, and it'll go through that whole process. But what you're interested in is to click Enable Link. Once you enable Link, it's going to prompt this little menu. It's going to tell you that you're going to lose connection to this, and then you're going to be able to connect it to whatever uh, camera or IP device you want to connect to your router. So we're going to go ahead and click Yes, and now this is going to restart. Just take about 30 seconds, and once it's done, you can go ahead and disconnect the IPCOM from your uh, PC. Mark, this is an okay time to actually disconnect the IPCOM and then connect it to whichever camera you have. So I have the PTZ NDI3 X20 right here. We're going to go ahead and connect this guy. We're going to connect this guy directly to the IPCOM. You're going to notice that this guy starts up just like that. So if you did it correctly, the IPCOM is going to go ahead and bring this camera onto your network, and you should be able to view it. So a good example would be opening up something like Studio Monitor, since this is NDI enabled. And we can see the PTZ NDI X20 120 FPS is online. <laughs> Just like that, guys. And that, my friends, is how you set up an IPCOM POE. If you have any more questions, you can head over to our website at adaimaging.com slash support. You can also tag us, follow us, and show us how you're using the IPCOM POE at Ada Imaging. I'll see you guys in the next one.